in the warehouse right now, we have the new Goodyear Duratrac RT, and we have the old Goodyear Duratrac. And to tell us the differences between these two, we have the amazing Dennis over here. G'day guys. Thanks for coming along, Dennis. Thanks, Jared. The old Duratrac wasn't broke. Yes, that's right. So before we went to the new one, we go, look to our customers, guys, we're about to update this. What do you want done? Mm. And what do you think they said? Nothing. Leave it as it is. 100%. What did you do? We said, you know what? You're right. The compound on this tire, 100% does the job well, right? For the new one, we kept the same compound. So same base material for both tires. Right? Because we know it works. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's, it's, this is the same material that's held up so well in Australian conditions mm -hmm. um, and US conditions for our friends right. over the ditch. Yeah. So what else has changed between the tires? The biggest factor will be the three-ply sidewall and light track construction. Yep. Right? Yep. Um, but which, you before know what, we go though, on from that, I was so surprised to find out that the original Duratrac is actually a two-ply sidewall tire because this is the sort of tire that you see on commercial vehicles. Like this is the thing that you know you see on buses, that, you know, not buses, that utes that go around the country and do mm. actual four-wheel driving every day. Mm -hmm. Mm. But it was only a two-ply sidewall tire. Mm -hmm. So now it's a three-ply. Yeah. And this goes back to you know, our discussions earlier with data patterns, right? Mm. So why are we going through three-ply light truck? Well, you think about it. You've got people now with their rigs set up where they've got 600 drawers in the back, mm. right? They've got a fridge that slides out and a fridge that stands up. That's right. Upright, right. And the freezer and, and they've got the, the caravan. So yeah. you, you have all this weight being put in the vehicle, right? Um, and we need to cater for that. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Right, so the new three RT, ply. so LT and 3-ply. Yeah. I'm seeing a whole bunch more siping on the new, uh, the new uh, Duratrac RT as well. There is, there is. So, you know, when you look at the little differences, from afar, you look at it and go, you know what, the tread pan almost looks the same. Right? There's lots of difference. Right? Tell me all about it. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. So, you mentioned the sipes. Yeah. Where there's two. Yeah. One, two. There's now three. Show, show on that yep. side so we can show the people. Three. We've got three on that side yep. and then two on this side on the outside knobs. That's right. We've got more siping through the center, the center blocks as it well. It is. If you look at the way that's been aligned, right? So, you've got siping going up this way, going down that way, and then going that way. It's almost like that commercial. My legs went that way. I thought you were going to say you could go your own way or something like that. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that's a car. Oh, was it a Probably. I think so. Better yeah. Not. So, so on, on this the, one. the side being here now is more aligned. We go over right? here. So you look at this and you go, old dual track has side being going up this way and you've got one going that way, mm -hmm. right? So now it's, we, we, we just aligned the side being. And this is to make sure that we also pass a three peak mountain snow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So this one is now a three peak mountain snow mountain snowflake, right? yeah. whereas this one wasn't. Yeah. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah. Did they have to do any other changes to actually get that three peak mountain snowflake rating? There is, there is. In the old dual track, you've got this little grooves here, right? Yeah. Um, it's called tractive groove. Right, so, Dura, it's this Dura little, 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 yep. little biting teeth that they have there, right? We moved on from that. The, the new one doesn't have that, but what, what it does have is you've got new cavities in between the tread blocks, whereas yeah, okay. the older one never had it. Yeah, okay, so, right? we, so we've got relatively smooth edged blocks around over here, whereas if we're looking over here, yep. then we've actually got these new notch cavities here, yep. um, which is interesting. So, so that's this technology previously would have actually helped to, to toss mud out. Yep. Sorry, this this technology previously would have helped to toss mud out. Yep. It's these notches and the other little ridges yep. that we're looking at that would have actually that would, would will now help mm. clear that mud from that tire. So in the these new these ridges here, and I'm going to say my favourite word again: tire bars. Tire bars. <laughs> tire bars. Tire bars. Tire bars. So we we have that in terms of a step up. Right? Yep. So you, you've got and you look at these little angles inside there, right? So. Again, the, little, the, the one considers, these are the ones that make mm. the difference, right? Yeah, so you've got a step up here, then you've got another cavity going up that way. Yeah. You've got a step up here, then you've got another cavity going that way, mm. right? So this takes away the tractive groove technology that we previously had in yep. the track, yep. right? From a traction point of view, and the test proved this, mm. right? So 10% better both in wet and dry. That's right, handling. so all of this extra siping and all of this extra technology that they put in there actually yep. makes it 10% better in the dry yeah. and the wet, yeah. which is pretty amazing, really. It so, is. And that's, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, 
most of the time we're actually driving on the road anyway, so bed of traction in the dry and the wet is actually a really key thing to look out for. Yeah, first take, my first maybe 10 to 15,000 kilometres of, of driving, right? Um, and I also got it my personal vehicle too, mm. right? Yep. And I've towed on that as well. So I'm very happy with it, right? It, it's doing what it's supposed to do yep. on bitumen and yep. off-road, yep. right? The real test will be when we start hitting the 50 plus thousand mark, mm. right? Um, I had, I had this, my previous uh, vehicle, from off-road, camper trailer towing, and uh, yep. over 100,000 k's, mm. right? And we talked about this earlier. Yes. Rotation. Absolutely, yeah. Right? So, so again, we're, we're hitting the mark where we've got really aggressive tyres, really aggressive tread. Mm. Um, so now is the, you know, we need to start seriously thinking about rotating these tyres every 5,000 k's. Yeah. Five to 10,000 k's, 5,000 k's is optimum. But 10,000 k's is what you would do for every single other tyre, but look after them by rotating them every 5,000 k's. Yep. Five to 10,000 if you can't make 5,000. So we're looking at new technology on the shoulders as well. There and is technology so changes. You got your blade angle configuration. So when you're looking at a new design from a shoulder wall perspective, yep. you've got this little V-shape happening here. Yes, right? which, which through here, it's relatively simple. We've just got scalloping, non-scalloping, scalloping, it. scalloping yeah, it's, non-scalloping. It's almost like a basic, okay, we'll just do it that way. So you've got the little step-ups here, mm -hmm. right? Does that have any step-ups? No, we've here? got no step-ups. There's like Nothing. a little ridge, ridgy, ridgy yeah, it's digit it. It's almost here, just like plastered on. That's right. right, so it's like gone straight from the tread into sidewall with no, nothing that connects right. it. So we now yeah. have that wrap around. So you, you've got this little layer that goes over the shoulder wall and the yeah. sidewall, right? Yeah. And we talked about tire pressure management when you're going off-road. You want to protect these as, as much as possible when you're going off-road mm. and we'll cater for that. Yes. Right? So this is when we're, when we're really lowering the pressures and the tire starting to, to bulge out. Yeah. Yeah. Taking away this, this big uh, dimple that you want to call it there, I mean, that is quite thick, right? Yes. Um, that's right. So, you know, it's well, actually a, almost a little finger calibrated. It is finger. from your industry standard that's right. um, tire test Available finger review. Um, it is. It's how much per hour? <laughs> you don't want to know. You had oh, to ask me. Okay. <laughs> no, okay <that's> <laughs> so, we don't have that though from a, from a dimple perspective, mm. right? But what we do have though is see the little cravats in between there? Yes. Right? Nothing here. No, that's right. right? But it doesn't really serve us perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's really connected together over here. That's right. And you know, significantly, you know, it's probably the same depth, but significantly more protection going on. Mm. And hey, we've got these little, um, what do you call them? Flying foots? The Goodyear wing foot. Goodyear wing foot. The wing down foot. here as well. Yeah. The little details. It's the little details that count. Exactly. Yeah. It's lovely. So this is your LT35. And if I put some gumption into it. Yeah, I, I could see point. that there's less more effort and this is, you're giving it more with this. That's right, there's actually a whole bunch more resistance. There is more squeeze there. here. I mean, it's not a scientific test, not unlike the little finger. Yes. But, you know, you can actually feel the difference between the two um, by having a go at it like that, which is really interesting. Now we've kept the same rim, rim protection yep. for the bead. So yep. um, that feature is, is, it is, it's important for us, you know. Oh, I know absolutely. you've got your $10,000 wheel foot on your Raptor. That's you right. You want to protect that. So what about a weight comparison? Because we've gone from L, uh, yeah, look, two ply to LT three ply. That's right, look, there is a compromise. Yep. Right, so when it comes to weight, being a light truck in three ply sidewall, it does add some weight to it, yep. right? Um, you need looking at a, you know, from, from this is 21.4, this is 23.6. So it's like a two-ish, two and a bit-ish kilo yeah. I mean, increase, which in the scheme of things like that's 10%. So yeah. to go to a 10% weight increase between two ply and three ply LT is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And considering they've got basically the same volume of tread between mm -hmm. the two tires, yeah. and look at the extra protection. And it's a better performing tire. Yep, right. 10%. Yeah, 10% both wet and dry hand. Absolutely. I think that is the excellent comparison of the Duratrack versus the new Duratrack RT. Mm -hmm. um, as always, if you tr test these, I mean, if you know and love the Duratrack, tell us some adventure stories, uh, leave a review on tirereview.com.au. If you're excited about the new RT and you haven't used them yet, leave a comment in the comments. Um, otherwise, when you do get your hands onto the new RT or you, know, you strap them onto your car, let us know with a review on tirereview.com.au. So, uh, Tom, tirereview.com.au. Awesome. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Joe. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in.